Hello guys. In this video, we will going to discuss about the Hedlima injection. What is the use of Hedlima injection? Its doses, side effects, and contraindication. So watch the video till the end. So guys, Hedlima injection is made by a Merck and Co. And it's a brand name of Merck company. Hedlima injection contains Adalimumab in the syringe of 40 mg by 0.4 ml, and it's a pre-filled pen of Adalimumab which inject subcutaneously and the price of headlima injection varies from country to country now let us see the use of this injection so guys adalimumab is a monoclonal antibody which is used for treating the autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis psoriatic arthritis ankylosing spondylitis crohn disease and ulcerative colitis plaque psoriasis hydradenitis suppurativa uitis and juvenile idiopathic arthritis these are the diseases in which adalimumab is used for treatment now what is the mechanism of action of adalimumab so guys adalimumab specifically targets and blocks tnf alpha which contribute to the inflammation that causes the abscesses inflammatory nodules and draining fistulas in hs so guys, what is the dose of adalimumab injection? The dose of adalimumab injection is depend on the medical condition of patient and disease. This injection is given subcutaneously in a thigh, stomach, shoulder or other subcutaneous route. And the recommended dose of adalimumab for adult patient with rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis or ankylosing spondylitis is 40 mg administered at every other week now what is the side effect of adalimumab the side effect of adalimumab is pain swelling redness or itchy skin where your injection was given mild nose throat or sinus infection headache stomach pain feeling for being sick muscles or bone pain these are the common side effect of adalimumab if you were notice these side effect or other side effect so consult with your doctor the last question is that who should not take adalimumab injection means what is the contraindication of this injection so the active myelary or inactive tuberculosis patient chronic hepatitis b patient opportunistic fungal infection pneumonia with a fungus called pneumocystis gyrovesi patient a bad infection and the infection date last a long time and cancer or malignancy so the patient with these diseases cannot take this injection so guys this is a complete information of head lima injection in this video we have discussed about the use dose mechanism of action side effect and contraindication of humura injection so guys if you are watching my video first time so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for further new videos thank you so much for watching this video